Welcome back to Black Belt Secrets once again. One or two more thoughts about this Harry case as I'm reading through the news reports and the transcripts of this trial. Some of the comments uh, from the prince himself to suggest that evidence may have been hidden or destroyed. As I read from Sky News, uh, Andrew Green KC examining Prince Harry in the witness box, taking him to his witness statement where he says that MGN journalists must have obtained copies of his phone records to find out how many and how long the calls were between him and his then girlfriend Chelsea Davy. Mr. Green asks, what basis uh, does Prince Harry make this claim? Because in any claim, you need to have some kind of evidence and basis to uh, make that assertion. Harry responds to say, based on the suspicious nature of the content of the story, I don't believe he goes on to say, uh, my girlfriend would have ever spoken to a stranger on the phone about our relationship. The King's Counsel then asked if Harry had any evidence of any instance of his phone records having been obtained by said journalists. Prince Harry responds in the negative to say that uh, it's either hidden or destroyed and that he doesn't have such copies. Again, uh, Mr Green asks for the basis of this claim. Harry responds to say, uh, as we discussed at great length on um, our... Uh, explanation of the cross-examination on my uh, main Black Belt Barrister channel, which I'll link in the description below, and uh, further on our Art and Media Law channel, which you'll also find in the description below, where Harry defers to a very common excuse uh, or, or reason, excuse might be unfair, reason perhaps to not be able to explain certain things. He says, my legal team have the evidence. Now this is sometimes to say, well, my lawyers uh, put this together. That's not to say it's untrue. Far from it. It may well be the case. I mean, these stories go back to 1996. So there may well be several volumes of uh, details of these stories uh, that are not included within his witness statement or even directly referenced within his witness statement. But with the uh, sheer volume of these documents, they may well not be all contained within those documents. So on the one hand, you may conclude that uh, such evidence does not exist purely because he says that his legal team has the evidence. On the other hand, uh, you may conclude that there is so much of it going back so long that it would be simply impossible and just not plausible to have included it and referenced it all within his witness statement. So this is exactly what's being tested in court. Uh, furthermore, Harry says that there is no way that anyone would know about the flight. And Harry uh, discusses an article in The People reporting that his then girlfriend had taken a year out of studies to spend more time in England. And in the article, reportedly an insider had stated that Harry had spent hours on the phone with her, um, finding the long distance relationship quite difficult. Harry says that he finds the level of detail in the article disturbing, as anybody might. Now, if you take yourself out of this, love or hate Prince Harry, if you take yourself out of this particular story and imagine that your own stories, your own history are being uh, portrayed in the media in great and intricate detail, I would suggest that you may too find uh, such detail in any article about any area of your life disturbing, where he says there is no way anyone else would know about those long phone calls with his then girlfriend. And going on to say that the article then reported that uh, they had an intimate break at a hideaway in a South African hunting lodge and that she visited him in England in what was supposed to be a very private or hush hush holiday. Uh, Harry then questions how the journalists came to know about the fact of those flights being that they were uh, quite obviously and should have been kept private. However, um, again, King's counsel Andrew Green, uh, representing the paper, said that uh, this was reported 
by the Daily Mail four days before the people. And Prince Harry goes on to say the story may have originated in the mail, but this would be a reason for the people to try to take the story further, suggesting that there is motive to dig and dig for these stories and details. Again, highlighting uh, why this is such an important case, because if information has been gathered illegally, clearly this needs to stand trial and uh, needs to come to the forefront. On the other hand, if this information was gathered in perfectly legitimate means, then equally this needs to be exonerated as perfectly legitimate journalism and media. Either way, the court is to make a determination during the course of this week. Uh, so for more on this, please make sure you subscribe here. This is Black Belt Secrets, uh, where I'm discussing my on-the-go thoughts for these cases and more, and more in-depth analysis over on Black Belt Barrister and our Art and Media Law channel. So please do make sure you subscribe there. Make sure you hit that notification bell to receive more updates. And as always, I thank you so much for watching.